What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to check how much VRAM you have in your computer's graphics card or graphics cards without too much effort. It's really simple. And of course, this method works for AMD, Intel, Nvidia, and whatever you have in your computer. This is a surefire way of checking things. As long as you have DirectX installed on your computer, Windows 11, it comes pre-installed as far as I understand, and everything else, you should definitely have access to this. It's a pretty basic Microsoft tool. Hold Start and press R on your keyboard to bring up the Run dialog, and inside of here we'll be typing in DXDIAG, DXDIAG, hit Enter, open it up, and in a few seconds of nothingness, we may get a pop-up asking yes or no, simply click either option, and eventually we'll be dropped into the DirectX diagnostic tool here. We'll see some computer information, but what we're interested in is the display tabs at the very top. Each of these is a different display that you have plugged into your computer. And of course, if you have multiple graphics cards clicking in between them, you'll see the name at the very top of device changes over here. Essentially, we have the name of the device, some information, but what you're interested in is the display memory brackets VRAM over here. I currently have 12 gigabytes of VRAM in my RTX 3080 Ti, and this is where we see it's visible. Shared memory and total approximate memory are different things and are based on how much RAM you have in your computer plus your VRAM. It's a little bit odd. If you'd like to see the total RAM in your computer, you can see here memory 131 gigabytes for me. Even though I only have 128, for some reason it's reflecting as a bit bigger over here. Anyways, beyond the point, this is the tab that we're interested in. Of course, depending on which tab you're in, you'll see different results here, and you should be able to see how much VRAM your graphics card has. Super simple. For NVIDIA users, you can right-click your desktop, click NVIDIA control panel, and inside of here, at the very top, we can click help, then system information. And inside of this new window over here, we'll see our graphics cards listed out. And on the right-hand side, we'll see total available graphics memory as well as dedicated video memory. Dedicated video memory is the VRAM on our graphics card. Once again, 12 gigabytes, though this one says GDDR6X. This is the kind of VRAM that's on my graphics card. Awesome. Finally, a third method, just for good luck, hit start, open up the settings window, of course, this will look a little bit different on Windows 10. Head across to the Display tab, which is usually System, then Display. We'll look for Advanced Options, somewhere here, Advanced Display, and we'll click Display Adapter Properties for whatever display you have selected. Then a new window should pop up, and inside of here, we see Dedicated Video Memory 12 gigabytes. Once again, this is our VRAM on our computer for whatever graphics card we currently pulled this window up for. Super simple. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.